Well, good morning and welcome to Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast. For this Transformation Tuesday, I welcome you. Good morning to all. What are you joyful for this morning? Or what joys have come into your life? As you know, Vibe Talk is all about emotional and mental health. As we talk about our feelings and go into our wellness. This is a podcast for you. As you know, we're quick to talk about triumphs, tragedy, things that have made us unwell, but today we're going to be inspired to grow and talk about joys, and you may call in to the show at 661-503-89. 9-3. Or you can call and join us right on live. Don't forget to tell us where you're from. So, Joy. We have at some time in our life experienced joy. But now, Can we talk about them? Or what has been joy? Feelings of happiness. Things that have brought you great pleasure. Things that have made you cry tears of joy. We must ask ourselves, When was the last time that we actually experienced that? Joy is a good thing. But how often are you feeling a sense of joy? How often are you feeling that? And we want to help you to fill it more. Um, I'll tell you the other day, watching a hummingbird go to uh, feed brought me great joy. There are other things that bring me joy as well. And if I were to ask all of you to make a list, as you know that I'm used to doing, is giving you some assignment to work on. Um, We want to think about allowing ourselves to have happiness. How are we doing in that regard of happiness because you know we can feel it for some time and it may not joy what brings you real joy people are looking for that in their lifetime joy And when you're feeling satisfied, when you're feeling valued and appreciated, does that not give you real joy? Good morning to my co-host, Trish. Good morning. Good morning. We are talking about joy and what brings 
us joy. If you're not sure about how to define joy, make a joyful list. What is a joyful list? A list of joy. Things that make you happy. And what might they be? Well, you'll be able to say what is on your joyful list. Some people pick colors, while other people pick passions that they love to do. But, but have you really thought about it? Things that bring you joy. You know, some people thrive off of getting a message that would make them laugh. How many of us have gotten a text message that has made us laugh? Anybody? I have. Or that you have sent a text message that made other people laugh. You see that sense of joy in your life? See, because we can always talk about the good, the bad, and the challenge. Or the good, the ugly, and the challenge. But we do talk about all ranges of emotion. So make yourself a list of joyful things. Uh, being mindful of joys in your life. You know, some people find the littlest thing that will bring them joy. Have you written out anything on your joyful list that I ask you to make for yourself? Because today is that day of transformation and change. If you're finding that you're dealing more with the negative aspect of your emotion, why not start by evaluating the, the things that make you joyful? The thing that makes you feel that, that it was important enough to value. You know, there's so much to be grateful for. When we, when we start each day, we ask, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for being able to have a different kind of day every day because I, I choose that. Instead of doing the same thing. Yeah. What are you thankful for? What are all of you thankful for, Trish? What are you thankful for? I'm thankful that I'm 23 years old. That's what I'm thankful for. Okay. 23. I can't remember back that far, but it was wild. <laughs> so, one person put it like this. She says, that her daughter smiles and hugs in the morning fills her heart with happiness in addition to that reading something uplifting and inspiring well another person put it like this a relaxing shower or a friend's thoughtful text Great weather. You know, I used to think negatively for rain. But yet I thought about it as the years went by. If there were no rain, there would be no flowers. So rain makes me joyful because I know that flowers are coming. Springtime. Many of you 
who suffer from allergies. But now, as you are finding ways to heal your allergies, have you noticed the beautiful colors, how the branches just become filled with colorful leaves? Satisfying yard work. Oh, many may frown because I said work. Being in the yard is not work to me. I simply enjoy that. And I had the chance to do that this weekend. We are t talking about joy. As we talk about our pain, I would like you you today to get started on your day that begins this day at this time. Simple things. You know, a lot of people find joy in money, in cars, and a lot of material things, but what if you didn't have those things? Where would your joy be then? You know, things like ice cream makes me happy. Have you ever noticed that a simple thing of ice cream comes in so many flavors? One of my favorite snacks is ice cream. I'm so thankful for the many variety. That brings me joy. What brings you joy, Trish? Um, nature brings me joy. Being with family, that brings me jo joy. Laughter, I love to laugh. That brings me joy. I love something that's hilarious. And coffee. Coffee brings me joy and it starts my day. And my my pets my pets bring me joy and music music brings me joy as well and uh having faith and god god brings me joy as well yeah so how do we start to talk about our joys Today is Transformation Tuesday, and we began by breaking barriers to change our caterpillar thinking into moving into our butterfly thoughts. You, you know, getting to talk about the things that a plant needs I was in a conversation with my grandson Who's four, by the way? But there was something that I noticed. He began to talk about flowers and what they needed. Sunshine, seeds, and water. Are you getting enough of sunshine, seeding, and watering? You human plant. You see, because in you represents life. What are you doing to foster the steps of joy? Because you have to have a plan. You know, people say other people make them joyful. Wow, that, that is true. And we respect that. What, what would you do if there were no people to provide you, you with joy. Because it is true that we thrive off of other people. So we do need other people and other relationships. But now let's talk about us individually. How many times do you notice that it's a beautiful day? Anybody ever notice it's a beautiful day? Have you ever known? Yeah. Now you take 
that beautiful day and you're looking out your window and you say, wow, this is a beautiful day. Well, no. As it is a beautiful day, you really take the time to enjoy it. I mean, really enjoy it. Because a lot of us may work inside. A lot of us may work at home. And a lot of us may work from sunup to sundown without really enjoying that sunshine. So think about this. If one never has the time to experience a beautiful day, how do you appreciate it? You know, a little sun is good. In fact, when I, I was sick a few weeks ago, I had decided that I needed to feel the sun because the sun has warmth and the sun has natural vitamin D. Now, without getting into the medical health side of it, or I should say medical terms for the least because I'm a life coach and I do not profess to be a doctor. Sunshine is good for the body. But now, how many of us have gotten to see the sunsets? Anybody ever saw a beautiful sunset? Anybody? I have. I have. And I'll tell you about that sunset. That sunset has always been an impression on my mind set. And I've never forgotten it. It's a reminder not only of your awakening, your day, but it's also a reminder of Jehovah God's love for all of us, even ones who don't believe in God. Because they come in the most beautiful colors. Now, sunsets and sunrises weren't so beautiful. Would we really pay attention to them? But yet, they were meant to leave an impact on us. Maybe that could be something on your list. You know, maybe you don't get up early enough to see the sun rise. Maybe make it a day where you're going to get up one day early and see the joy and feel the joy that that brings you. There was a time in my life where things weren't going as well. But every morning I would await sunrise. I would anticipate that sunrise to come up. And I would challenge every morning that it was going to come up and as sure as I challenge it, it would meet every day. That brought me a long way because you see that is a reminder of God's love for you and I. Now, when we think about that sunset or that sunrise, it leaves us feeling, wow, did you see that? That, that was amazing. Look at all, all those colors. How many of us have said that? See, learning appreciation for things such as this. Now I'm thinking about a list. Have you written anything on your mind, on your mindset, and in your heart 
about what your list of joys would look like. You know, I love the lady who said waking up to her daughter smiles and hugs. If you ever get the chance to see a child smile, I mean really see a child smile and laugh, you'll begin to be transformed into thinking about that child's happiness. Because some of us adults haven't learned our joys. But a child has that joy. One day I was in a store and as I turned every corner, literally, you could hear a child laughing or playing. I live for that. What, what about you? Your joy is. You know, people say when I hug, I hug very tightly. And I do. How do we feel when we get a loving hug or a genuine hug? That makes us feel valued. That makes us feel like someone cares. And every time I hug someone, that's how I want to make them feel. Because we, we just never know. People make aspirations to be almost anything. It starts with when you were younger to find out what do you want to be when you grow up. How many of you have had someone ask that? What do you want to be when you grow up? See, that starts the aspiring of your learning happiness. See, we learn to be happy. We learn from a very early age, we aspire to be more than what we are. We make a name for ourselves. So what do you want to aspire in your life? Do you want to be a doctor, a lawyer? Are you in school? What are you doing that is joyful? Photography is another thing that makes me happy. Photography. It's a beautiful thing. When you get to really see what the eye sees, it's so beautiful. It really is. How many of you have held a newborn baby? Anybody? I have. How did it make you feel? It made me feel happy and amazed. Yeah. Babies are truly a miracle. And everybody gathers around the baby. I don't care what's going on in the house. You bring home a new baby and, and all bets are off. Because that baby's going to get all the attention. And the first thing we say is, oh. Oh, he's so cute. She's so cute. It makes our heart flutter with joy. Have you written anything down on your joyful list or your list of joys? See, that shouldn't be so hard for us to talk about. Another thing that makes me happy is when I am In the bath or the shower. I like to sing in the shower. How about you? <laughs> Makes me feel happy. Let's create a list. Let that be our transformation Tuesday to today to think about ways to help us to be happy. 
People often tell me that my laugh is deep. In fact, I had someone say, you know, you have a very deep laugh. It's sincere. And I never paid attention to it. I never realized that my joy brings others joy. How many of you, you have realized that? That my, my joy or your joy benefits others. You know, because oftentimes we're in our own world. And when our world becomes our own world, we have no room to think about what's happening to other people. Sometime back we talked about saying hello to people as you pass them. Do you know that it has been said that because someone said hello to someone, it made their day? Because no one ever took the time just to say hello just because. Think about that, the joy that others felt. Because you did that. Think about joy. You know, I love to go to the beach. Now, that's one of my favorite things to do. Now, I go to the beach with purpose. One is to have a good time. The other is to hear the sound of the waves. Listen, did you hear that? Wow. See, those things that we take for granted, those th things that we don't even have to really pay for, we take, take nature for granted. Nature walks. When's the last time you really did a nature walk? Um, I haven't done one in the walk, in a well, but I do love nature, and I have to make more time for nature walks. Now, my nature walks are not hiking to the tallest mountains. My neighbor, my nature walk could be in the vicinity of my local neighborhood, local park, thinking about that. Mm. You smell that? Why, those are chocolate chip cookies. Smell the aroma. How many times has something baking like that brought you joy? Not only just smelling it, but knowing that you're going to get one of those. There's a bread place that I like to visit when I'm out of town. And this bread place... I love going there because you're going to have the warmest, softest baked goods. Cookies, muffins, bread, all fattening. But do you allow yourself to experience that joy? You see. Or are we restricting ourselves to be in the no joy club? How many of you have enrolled? in the No Joy Club. Anybody? You're not allowed to have joy. Because sometimes the lives that we have lived tell us we are not allowed that. But today I want you to make a visible list so that you can give yourself permission. For those of you who, who have enlisted in the No Joy Club, I want you to Disenroll from that club. And I want you to write you a list saying that you will give yourself permission to experience joy. Even if it's one thing at a time. I don't know about you guys, but I love tea. I, I have a, a lot of tea. In fact, a friend of mine 
gifted me with a tea book with over a hundred tea bags from different places. And that brought me joy. If you know me, then you know that I like tea. And I have to make more time to drink tea like I used to. Because I'm so busy running all the time. And, and I need to make more time. Just like people love their coffee. Oh, man, I love tea. How many of you like to look at old pictures? Anybody? Photographs, period? I do. Yeah, how does it make, make you feel when you look at photography? It makes me feel joy, and it's like I'm addicted to it. Like, I just love looking at photographs, and it doesn't matter the kind. I just love looking at art in general. Yeah, me too. But I love photography because every time, you know, I could be driving, I could be walking, and I see something and I say, wow, I should have taken a picture of that. Naturally, I am a photographer, so I would think that way. But, but when I go to people's homes, I love to look at their pictures on the wall. I really stop to do that. Because, see, that's somebody else's memory. Now, other people's memory can bring you joy, just like your memories can bring them joy. When was the last time you complimented a stranger by saying, your shoes are cute, that looks nice? How many times have we done that? Or has that been done to you? Let's think about that for a moment. Maybe no one has paid you a compliment because there are people that aren't used to compliments. But yet, as they start to think about it, they transform themselves through much work to be able to receive compliments. I am a person, I cannot take compliments. I don't know, it's, it's almost like it's so much attention to me. That's a reveal about me. I absolutely cannot take being put on notice. I feel that. Yeah, yeah. And we, we learn, and we're still learning through my talk why we're that way. But now, when you're allowing yourself to give a compliment to someone else, how does it make you feel? You know, I compliment a lot of fathers with their children. Because we're so used to seeing mothers with the kids all the time. And when I see a dad with a kid, it brings me such joy. Why does it affect me that way? Because I know for that child, that's going to be a lasting benefit for that child. And that man is going to be strong and he's going to fight for his child. He's going to be able to be a constant source of encouragement, a constant source of support. Little does that child know. Good morning, Ash, and thank you for joining us here. In case you guys have not known we have a YouTube channel. Everyone that is here today, please go to that channel. It's growing. It's transformation day. Please, please, please. And it's at YouTube. It's on our um, live vibe talk right now. And that's where uh, my co-host and I are. So please do that if you have not done so 
already. Thank you for being with us. Another thing I like is to walk barefoot. I'll tell you something. No, no judgment. I was deep in flowering the other day at my sister's. And I took my shoes off. Because there's always showers, there's always baths. But I like that. So you're talking about getting down and dirty. And it was such a beautiful day. You have the water trickling down. That is a playground for me, besides the beauty of it. And I was barefoot. See, there's nothing too good about me that I can't do that. But that's just me. Relaxation. How much joy does that bring you? Anybody feel joyful? Feel joyful because you've done something new? You've done something exciting? I was thinking about a very good friend of mine who has passed. If only that friend knew how valuable they were, maybe they would still be here. You see, he died from suicide. And I say this to say this. We never know what impact we have on people. When they don't feel joyful, are we being the ones that see them smile? I love by nature to make people laugh. And my youngest son is just like that. And he's got that naturally because his dad and I are like that. You know, sometimes people could come from the grumpiest place, you know, uh, because of their experience in life. And if you get the chance to make them laugh, you have done a great thing. Okay. And I heard someone say to me, you always make me laugh. Because it's the way I say things. And if I'm doing that, I have transformed someone for that day, you see. Because we don't have to walk around grumpy. I have a newfound joy. I love yard cells. I've always loved them, but I really love Love it when you find a good find. How many of you have experienced that? Finding something good on sale. Oh, you'd be amazed. I'm going on a vacation and so I will try to do at least one podcast. But where I'm going, I love the sense of the art cell. Because I'm going to tell you, there's some good stuff out there. People, like, practically give it away. How about you guys? What about a good sale? Here's another one that I think about. How many times? do you listen to your favorite song and how does it make you feel by the way if you haven't already I would love for you to go to Vibe Talk After Dark it's also on our YouTube channel but it streams everywhere go check us out and I am just joyful at the response that I've gotten 
for that. Please go check that out. I love it when people bring joy. Even in the littlest things. Are you inspired to do that for yourself? Remember, giving yourself permission. What brings you joy? I love stargazing. With my children, you know, even in the backyard, being able to take out a pair of binoculars and just look into or look at the sky. I love dancing. That brings me joy. Here's another thing someone wrote. Warm clothes out of the dryer. If you're like me, how many of you like to put on your clothes as soon as they come out of the dryer? <laughs> I do. Yeah. How does it make you feel? It makes me feel so comfy and it makes me feel happy. Yeah. Real joy. Every, everyone can relate to that. <laughs> How about finding money? How many of you have ever found money? <laughs> I have. I've often found hidden money from myself and I found it. That's real joy, especially when you're broke. <laughs> I found real money. How about that one? Giving you some ideas, things, people, money, places. You ever been somewhere and it's just brought you pure joy? What's a place that you think of that you've been that has brought you pure joy? We want to hear about it. Let's not forget about our Vibe Talk question. Yeah, and um, we'll start that list for you. What's a place you've been to that has brought you pure joy? For me, Disneyland. For me, aquariums. How about just doing something for somebody just because? It's not their birthday. It's not a special holiday. You are doing something for someone. I had someone, my niece said to me, when they showed up at her anniversary party, it affected her. Because I'm going to tell you, I am a person, I'd rather be home. That's the truth about me. And I hate it when I have to go to big social gatherings. But I do it. I have to make myself do it. Well, I showed up at the social gathering and she said how it made her feel. You never know the effect that you have on someone. Sleeping in. If you can do that. I can never sleep in. I don't know why I can never sleep in. And the only time I do is when I'm not feeling good. Yeah. How do you feel when you get to sleep in and nobody's waking you up? Yeah. Having a day, day off. How many? How many times have you looked at an elderly couple and you've said, they've been together a long time? We're talking about 50, 60, 70 years. And they're best friends. They're holding each other's hands. Have you ever saw that? Does it not bring you joy? How about someone you haven't seen in a long time and you just happen to run into them? Have a friend that's been a friend of mine for a long time. We're friends and I 
I've been so busy throughout life, I make no effort to call her, and I will run into her. Well, guess what? Good morning and welcome as our audience. Thank you so much. Where are you listening in from, please, and thank you? And we're asking today, as it is Transformation Tuesday, please go check out our YouTube by the same name, Vibe Talk, Facing the Lion Podcast. Please click like. Marilyn, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. We're talking about finding joy. Where where are you guys finding your joy at? What makes you joyful is what we're asking. If you'd like to call in about it, our number is 661-503-8993 for Vibe Talk Direct Connect. Or you can put it right here. We're live on Facebook. Thank you for those hearts. And we're asking, please, for this Transformation Tuesday, go check out our social media pages and like them and subscribe to them. It costs you nothing. How about a comfy bed? Anybody have one of those? A comfy bed. I do. I do. You know what? Half the time I'm always... Oh, uh, our audience member said, I find it when I'm training. What do you do? What do you do in your training? In sleeping on the floor is fun. Okay, I like that. You know, I'm always falling asleep on the couch. I have a bed, and I'm always falling asleep on the couch. <laughs> See how we find joy. See, what what I want to do is help you guys to talk about the joys in your life. Thank you for that, our audience member says. And what are you training in? What do you do? Oh, martial arts. Okay. Wait, lifting. Shooting and running. All righty. That takes a lot. And finding joy in that, I love that. We talked about ways in making a list, a joyful list. Um, Being grateful for something, even when you're having the worst day. Anybody ever had a bad day? How many of you have had a bad day by way of electronic hand? Anybody had a bad day, Trish? You ever had a bad day? Yes, I have. Yeah. And how do you know you're having a bad day? Because because of my mood. My mood isn't so jovial as usual. It's mm-hmm. it's off. It's like very ir- easily irritated, sad. It's just a bad day. Yeah. And our audience member said, yep, they've had a bad day. And when something bad happens is how you know. So if I say, did you have a bad day? Does your mind go back to that bad day? And you can tell me every little thing that happened on that one bad day? Yes. Yeah. See, you see, yep, the audience member says, thank you for participating in this. Now, you and probably write out what you wore, what, what you ate that day, because that is forever etched into your mind, right? But now if we, we start to transform ourselves to become people who think about the more good days, how many of you guys have had more good days than you've had a bad day? I have. Yeah? I used to. See? We have the right to be able to, audience members says, oh, yeah, I love their comments. Yeah. If we work 
to have a deck of cards would every other day be a bad day you know you're dealing out cards we've all played cards and you're dealing out cards and every other one is going to be a bad day so we say oh you've been handed a deck of bad days but now let's reverse it every other day is going to be a good day why because you're going to get rid of the bad days yeah you have them we all have them we've all even those of you who are going to listen around the world you've had bad days but you can do yourself a bunch of good days because on that list of bad days next to the bad days what, what did you learn that was good out of this day because there's always something to learn our, our uh, audience member says at least a crappy day allows you to make a few good hands you understood the assignment yeah you hear that Trish yes good, good job yes. yes good job we love it when you guys participate and this won't be the last time you get to participate. Like I said, go to our social medias, click like, make sure you hit the notification buttons because you'll be on every time we're here. Okay? Please and thank you. Um, these little things in life help you to think about what's going to happen happen in the bigger things in life you know um, what makes you joyful if you're making that list now you probably put your list together and if you're making a list I'd love for you to put it together and send it to us we'll read it out loud if you want us to we love that and we love your participation so there's a lot of things that makes a person be joyful. We're going to be right back as we are moving into a commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. live talk facing the lion podcast and i thank all of you for joining us in our conversation about making it a habit to talk about the joys in our lives uh, our audience member had a comment personally they say i have no fear for the future because i know jesus will keep me safe in whatever may Yes, thank you. Great joy. Thank you so much for that. So now, how are you going to transform from the good, the bad, and the challenge into a more joyful living? If you haven't yet figured it all out, I'd like for you to make that list as soon as today why should we make a joyful list anybody figure that one out why I ask you guys to do that I have go ahead 
we should make a joyful list to it's like a reminder to remind ourselves what to be grateful for when we're in our dark times See, making that joyful list is going to bring out what you really like and who you really are if we all all did the list. I mean, and some of you are listening. Go ahead, send them into our social medias. We'd love to read them because we're all, all individuals. What might bring joy to you may not bring joy to others. Or what may bring joy to you by you sharing it can bring joy to others. It has impact. Today is Transformation Day. And I would love, love, love if you guys really thought about your joyful list, coming up with things that brings you joy. See, the theme of our discussion today is to reconnect to joy. You say fitting, I say Yes, reconnect to joy because we all have it. We all have joy. Good morning and welcome to another audience member. Where are you listening in from? We see you there and we say good morning. Someone else has joined us. If you're listening to Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast, Check out our YouTube channel. You'll see our reels. That will give you something for joy. We are nonstop streaming. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Where are you listening in from, please? And thank you, audience member. Thank you for the hearts as well. Where are you listening in from, please? And thank you. Um, let's think about, two. The things that make us feel good. Um, when we think about how we will, Mississippi, thank you so much for that. Thank you. Uh, let's think about if we're not exactly having a joyful list, let's start one. You know, transformation is change. Let's look at our list, and if we don't have one thing on it today, what would we like to see more joy in? Remember, you can't change other people, but you can always change yourself. And that's what my talk is all about, getting connected to feelings and the things that you can change. I want to turn it over to Trisha's Treasures. Trish? I've found joy in a lot of dark moments and it's helped me. It's helped me a lot because when it's so dark in a room and then you just have that one night light, it has a heavy impact on that darkness. It makes it so bright. You can see almost anything in the room. And I had to do that for myself on my birthday because on my birthday, my grandmother went to the hospital and I was like, I can't enjoy my birthday because I'm worried about my grandmother. And she told me after she called me and uh, saying happy birthday to me with my granddad, uh, she told me she was like, enjoy your birthday. And she said, you're 23. It's a blessing to be 23. Enjoy your birthday. And my grandfather, he was like, don't let anybody stop you from enjoying your day. It's your day. So when that happened, I was like, how can I enjoy my birthday or have any joy at all when this is happening? But I was like, you know what? She would want me to enjoy my birthday. So I'm going to do that. So on my birthday, I watched lots of TV. I went to sleep even though it was hard, but I took a nice birthday nap. It was awesome. I felt great. 
And I even sat outside with my cup of coffee. Like, that was the best birthday for me. Like, that's my joy. My joy is relaxing, going to sleep, watching some TV, not having any work to do, and just enjoying my day. And that made me realize that no matter what's happening in my life, I can always find something to be happy about. Something to remind myself that, okay, it's a bad day, but still, you got up this morning, you had your cup of coffee, you love to do that. Uh, you, you did your dance workout, you love to dance workout, you did that today. And you can do more things to make your day so much brighter. So what is your joy? If you feel like you have no joy, find your joy. And what would you like your joy to look like? Thank you for that. Uh, our audience member has a list. Thank you. Wow, he understood the assignment. <laughs> Cooking. I got that. He said he didn't mean for and E to be in front of cooking. We got that. <laughs> Exercise, prayer, spending time with your brother, spending uh, time with your girlfriend, doing things that make my body feel like I'm going, hold on, doing things that make I don't know. Oh, love adrenaline. Like you like getting hyped up. I get that. <laughs> I had to think about it. Yeah. Like you like all these thrill things. Okay. I love that list. And uh, he says, yes, that is. That's your joy list. Thank you so much for that. Let's give him a hand for that. Thank you so much. For that. We love it when you guys participate. Don't ever think that anything that you say does not affect people. By the way, this uh, podcast is being recorded, and we want you to go to our pages because you get to see a lot of things. You get to hear this podcast over and over again. You can share it. You can even call in. I want to say thank you um, for talking about your joys. We ne never know how it's going to transform someone to think about the joys. Remember, in your deck of cards, there are more. There is a, a chance of you having a really good hand dealt to you. It's your choice. I want to thank everybody for joining us on this Transformation Tuesday. Please, please support our pages so that you know when we're on. If you like today's podcast, we stream all over the place. I mean, we have been through every state and almost all the continents. Thank you so much, and thank you to my amazing co-host, Trish. And with that being said, Trish, I hope that your grandmother is going to recover well. And our love and our hugs go out to her. Thank you all for joining us. We are Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast. And don't forget our family-friendly radio show, Vibe Talk After Dark, is always on Saturday. And if you go to the YouTube page, we have our newest music one, uh, Vibe Talk Facing the Lion Podcast is in affiliation. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, our audience member said they just followed us on Instagram. Thank you. Our pages are the same but different. Thank you. I got it. Thank you so much. And we appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys for joining us. It's always free to you guys. 
we accept donations if that's what you want to do. But we want you to know, come back and come back. We want to say a special thank you to our audience member who did the assignment. How did you feel about doing the assignment to our audience member? I'm just, just curious. Like, he's so on top of it. Our last question of the day. What did you learn and discover about yourself during today's podcast? Trish, we're going to start with you. I learned, today I learned that joy comes in different shapes and sizes. It doesn't have to be in a certain box. My joy isn't everybody else's joy. And that's okay because it's what makes me happy happy it's personal that's what joy is supposed to be it's supposed to be personal to me and my joy radiates off me and helps makes other people feel happy i also learned that today and my experience here today was it was fun that was my experience because i love talking about things that make me happy so yeah and i'll say for myself and our audience member you can participate as well Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at those. Look at that. Thank you for that. Um, no one can take my joy away. You know, there's a saying, joy cometh in the morning. My joy can be whenever I want it. I am the seat driver of those joyful moments. And nothing and no one will take that from me. I thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you for that. Our audience member says you have a nice voice, by the way. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Um, and they say, I like doing them. It made me think a little bit. That is what we want for you to think about it every day is a day to improve your life. Even if you've had that one bad card, you don't have to keep that card. Uh, how often are we live? Um, we start the week. If we're not here Monday live, we're here Tuesday. If we're not here Tuesday, we're here Wednesday. So that will mean that the next time you hear from us live, it will be tomorrow or Thursday. You know how the best way you'll know is to follow us here and your Instagram and Facebook, YouTube as well. We're, we're going to be live. So if you click like, okay, you're going to be able to find out. So we're you'll see live when we come up. So we try to make it inter interesting for you guys. It used to be every day until we until we it used to be every day. We've built so much into this that now we stream live. You know, everything is streamed. Uh Thank you so much. I love that. Don't you, Trish? Yes. I they, they Go ahead, Trish. I'm sorry. I said yes. What did I you love say? That. I said yes. I love it. They're interacting. Yes. And that's what this podcast is all about, guys. You're not forced to. We get together as a group. You can also get together individually with me. If you ever want to talk to me, not on radio, not live, you may do that. You may do that for your emotional and mental health. We are not doctors. I am a, a professional life coach, trained, and certified. So whenever you want to get a hold of us, you can also text us. You can leave us a message. I'm going to leave Direct Connect with you, 661-503-8993. Okay. 
and we want to thank everybody. Trish, do you have anything you want to say? Uh, thank you to our audience member. I appreciate your interaction because you make your interactions make us happy that also brings us joy because it feels like we're impacting you by your interaction and you also are, are impacting yourself you're helping yourself out and we'll love to see you come back again <laughs> yeah this is a willing thing and it's it's a beautiful thing so we are here um keep following us you get to see all our reels Trish has been so creative in putting together our um, YouTube page. It's incredible with how she has kept up with this. Go check it out, you guys. Just click the like button if you get a chance. You'll see how much work she's done. Comment. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can always reach out to us. We want to thank each and every one of you. We hope that today's transformation has changed your life, will change your life, and help you to have more joy. Um, yes. Uh, thank you so much. Our audience member says sometimes even the little stones make massive impacts you got that right so true i enjoyed today thank you for bringing us joy and we hope that we have brought you joy i challenge you to more joy and we'll see you next time right here on vibe talk facing the lion podcast By the way, if you want to hear more of Trisha's music, she is a musician. Go check her out. And Trisha's treasure is also a part of Live Talk. Go check her out. Have a good day, everybody. <laughs>